welcome. Andy Roman here again. Listen, I'm doing this Get Real with Andy series because it's like a fireside chat with myself. And I'm including you because you are myself. And let's get to it. So I want to talk about conflict today. I've noticed the other day, I really got triggered by somebody and I engaged them in, in, in a reactive kind of way. And then I felt gaslighted and the complexity of the human conflict was overwhelming. I couldn't figure it out. And then I just got to some kind of heart level within myself that whenever there's conflict or confusion between people, it hurts because we're separated. And separation has a certain level of reality, but it isn't ultimate reality. And there's a part of me, there's a part of us that just doesn't like separation. And I know for myself, I'm used to going where the other person is in order to not be separated. And I actually would abandon my own self, my own values, my own perspective just to be together. You know, that's a little pathetic when I look at it. But, you know, children do stuff like that. And, okay, it is pathetic when an adult does that. We call that codependent. But really, the child part of us isn't pathetic. The child part of us is just simple and sincere. You know, the rule of thumb, several rules of thumb in dealing with conflict in relationships is stick to I statements. Own, own your own feelings. You know, it is so convenient and easy to blame other people for our feelings. That's just a weak place to be. And by weak, I don't mean weak character. Or there's something bad. It's just a weak, as in no, there's no power to it. When I take responsibility for my own feelings and communicate those as directly from my heart to yours, which inevitably is much more vulnerable you know, people, when they get angry and they get loud, you know why people do that. They feel unheard and they're protecting themselves. They want to be heard and they don't want to be hurt. Well, okay. Welcome to the human clan. Cut through all that by just speaking your feeling truth. You know, that hurts. I'm disappointed. I'm sad about that. You know, I miss you. I wish this. I really want that. And it all comes back to being congruent with our own self. You know, congruence means what I feel is what I express. What I want is what I pursue. What I don't want is what I say no to. That's fundamental emotional integrity and congruence. That's the stuff of being real. That's the stuff upon which healthy relationships can be built. All right, listen, this is just step one about relationships. Next time, I'm going to talk about shadow work and what that means in relationship. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your interest. Of course, you know I love you, and I am promoting my books. This time I'm mentioning both of them, Deep Feeling, Deep Healing, The Heart, Mind, and Soul of Getting Well which I used to say was geared more towards therapists, but not really. The whole point is to demystify the inner therapeutic process. It's to just demystify it, make it simpler to access. And then my latest book, Get Real, Get Well, The Power of Authenticity to Heal, which I think takes my premise in book number one to the next level about really what we can do what does getting real look like? What are some ways to get real? And then how does that show up? And what are some of the natural consequences of getting real? Okay, thanks again. Peace out.